Hey everyone, Andy here from Imagine Academy. Today we're going to be going over the Medit i700 intro roll scanner. Let's get started. When you open the box, you're going to notice the first thing is the monitor mount. Put this to the side. The first box is the intro roll scanner, and then we have your accessories kit. Let's go ahead and go through all of the components. All right, let's get started. So we're going to just lift the cover, put this to the side. And then we're going to notice the scanner. We can lift this cover, exposing our first set of accessories. The one that you're going to want to remove first is your wireless hub. There's a small tab. We're just going to lift. And then this is your optional handle, battery charging station, scanner tips, three batteries, practice model and USB, and your user manual. So let's go ahead and unbox the full accessories kit. Here are your power adapters, power cable, desktop mount, wall mount, wired battery and extension, plus connection cables, and your calibration unit. Start with lifting center tab here before we remove all the other components. So now that everything is out of the box, we're ready for installation, calibration, and your first scan. We're going to quickly go over the completely wireless setup and workflow. On the table, we have our scanning tip, calibration tip, your wireless USB hub, your charging station, the scanner itself, and of course your workstation here. The first thing that we're going to do is plug in the wireless USB hub as well as the charging station. If you notice on the back, of the wireless hub, you're going to notice two ports. You have your super speed USB port and your power outlet. We'll go ahead and plug that in. The power outlet goes directly to the wall and your USB port will connect to your computer. When you plug in the USB port to your computer, you want to make sure that you also plug into a super speed 3.0 port. From here, you're going to notice a blue blinking light and you know you're good to go. The battery charging station will have two power ports. You can choose either to plug in via USB to your workstation or directly to a wall outlet. For this setup, we're gonna go directly to the wall outlet. When your batteries are charging, three blinking lights means that each battery is charging. Three solid blue lights means that your batteries are fully charged. If you have a red light at all, it means there's an error there. We're gonna put this off to the side for now. Once everything is plugged in and your scanner has been registered, we're going to go ahead and start the calibration process. So to start the calibration process, we're going to grab one of the batteries. And we're going to place that into the scanner. Go ahead and turn on the scanner with the power button on the back. And you're going to notice the battery life at the bottom of the scanner here. Um, three dots is going to be 80 to 100% battery. Um, two dots is going to be about 50% to 60% battery. And one dot means that you're under about 20%. So I can see here, I only have one dot on my scanner, so I'm probably gonna need to use a different battery. So let's go ahead and just turn off the scanner here. Place it back on the stand. Put the battery back into the dock and grab a separate battery. Power this up one more time. And now we're gonna see that we have three full blue dots at the bottom of the scanner. We're going to remove the protective tip cover. I'm going to change the orientation of the scanner holder here. This is going to be your calibration tip. Before we place it onto the scanner, go ahead and make sure instead of having the calibration tip on last or any one of the numbers, go ahead and turn it all the way to the right where it says number one. Okay. Before we start that, let's go ahead and start the calibration wizard in the Medit link. Once we get prompted, just make sure that we have a battery inside the scanner, your calibration tip ready to go, and your scanner turned on and ready. So from there, we'll click next, turn the dial to position one. We've already done that. We'll click next. And we're gonna remove the covering for the calibration tip and place it onto our scanner here. So the dial should be facing upwards, just like that. I like to calibrate while my scanner's on the dock, but you can hold it in your hand as well. 
So from there, we'll go ahead and click the function button, which is the blue check mark button here. And once the process bar is full, we'll be able to start turning the calibration dials. After the initiation process is finished, we're gonna go ahead and start turning our calibration dials. I'm gonna put one hand on the scanner here and start turning the dial. And we're gonna see on the calibration wizard that it reads turn to position two, three, et cetera. You're gonna hear a firm click at the end of each position, and you're gonna wait until the calibration wizard reads the next number before you turn it. Here we're in turn to dial position four. Each position calibrates in about a few seconds. I'm going to turn to position six, seven, eight, and then the last position will be marked last. All in all, the calibration process will just take a few minutes. From there, we're ready to scan our first case.